Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So uh, we actually are doing something a little bit different than what we normally do. This is, I guess it's gonna be kind of like a mini series. Um, we just did one with uh, the Laura Geller Weekender set and it came with three different palettes. And so that kind of worked, but I've never really done this where I've done like a first impressions with the same palette uh, for different eye looks because there are so many different things that you can do with it. My mother suggested something along those lines. Um, she suggested doing it all in one video, but I think we're gonna separate it into different videos. So today, yesterday we filmed a uh, tutorial with the Patricia Bright Rich in Color Palette from Makeup Revolution. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. Lots of really gorgeous, vibrant shades included in it. I've donned my Def Leppard uh, 27 tour t-shirt today and there's a lot of vibrant 80s-esque colors in there so i'm thinking today to use a different uh scheme a different color scheme and create a different look i'm going to wind up using probably these three being uh green juice rich rich trendsetter and then maybe some of the blues as well ocean deep nobu backstage and then we also have a really cool uh kind of shimmery green shade over here that's no exit I think we're gonna use a, a mixture of those. We may not use quite all of them, but that's what I'm kind of working with color scheme wise. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the fact that I'm using the same palette to create different looks. So you can see the different things you could do with it. Uh, I think we're going to do probably a purple color scheme because there's a lot of really pretty pinks and purples to be utilized as well. And then there's also a lot of really nice neutral browns and stuff like that. I'm gonna try and do more of a softer look with it as well. So that way you guys can see how you can use it if you don't wanna use all of the really rich colors in it as well. So that's a lot of talking to begin this video but just to kind of give you some insight into my brain and what we're thinking and what we're trying to come up with creatively it's not that I don't have other palettes to do because I definitely do it's just I think that it's also very useful to see how you can make useful eye looks with uh, the same palette because obviously most people don't buy 150 palettes like I do most people buy one or two staple palettes and then they reuse them so I hope this is useful if it is definitely let me know in the comments I would love for some insight into what you guys are looking for or wanting to see I'm very open Open to it. We're filming a ton right now and I would love to be able to create more content that is is um, directed at what you guys are looking for. So yeah, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should consider doing that because we're pretty fun here and uh, yeah, we're trying to do some new creative stuff. So definitely join our little dark angel family uh, by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we post up. Now my pitch is done. We're gonna jump into the eye look of this grab a couple of my staple brushes. Okay, so what I am thinking for uh, the start of this eye looky, so we're gonna go in with green juice, which is that like neon green shade. And I'm just gonna do kind of a wide base of that. I think I'm gonna use vitamin C, which we used a ton of yesterday. Oh, that's really pretty. That is a really pretty lime green shade. I have actually, I don't wear green a ton, but I really love the way it looks. And I don't know why, because I normally go for browns, I mean, not browns, for reds and oranges and pinks and purples and like warmer toned colors. But this is really, really pretty. It's a very beautiful, maybe because it's almost like a yellow. It's like a, mm, I really like this one. Okay, anyway, I got distracted by how pretty that color was. So we're gonna use a little bit of vitamin C as well, which is the yellow tone. And this is vibrant yellow tone in this palette as well. All right, so I'm loving, I'm really loving this lime green shade. I really truly am. I've decided a lot of the vibrant colored lighter shades like that yellow, and they're really becoming some of my favorites that I have used ever. So this is vitamin C. This is that yellow shade that I talked about us using yesterday. I'm just gonna do that kind of like in my inner corner and blend in. This is definitely a very uh, 80s aesthetic vibe palette with all the neon colors and the options you have to create different looks, which is why I was like, well, let's rock it out. Let's do this. So that's what we're working with right now as a base. Now I'm going to take a smaller tapered brush and I'm gonna go in with Nobu, which is the navy shade that's included in this because I really wanna use it. It picked up very nicely on the brush, if you guys can see that. It's, it's a very deep, rich blue color. I love it, it's beautiful. And I'm not comfortable using blues normally. I've talked about this pretty much every time I pull out a, a cool tinted uh, palette that includes really gorgeous blue shades. And I'm like, I love this shade even though I don't really wear blues. The other thing I have to say, I really noticed it yesterday too. These colors seem to meld so well into each other that almost like there's virtually no blending necessary. And I'm seeing this with this palette as well. Like honestly, as soon as the, the blue started to touch the green, it kind of started to just absorb into it, if that makes sense. That's a huge selling point in my opinion. 
especially if you're somebody who is trying to get into bright colors and you're not really like super comfortable working with them, the easier it is to blend into each other, the easier it is to work with in my opinion. I think most people would agree with me with that. So that's a huge deal in my opinion. All right, so I just did a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go actually with Backstage, which is a lighter blue and just do a little bit more under my eye. It's still very blue, but it's just a little bit to kind of neutralize it. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and did my other eye to make it match. I love these colors. They're really gorgeous. Honestly, this is some of my favorite blue that I've used ever. Um, you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos, I really don't do a lot of blue heavy looks because I'm just not very comfortable with them. I think they look gorgeous on other people. I'm just not, it's not my favorite colors to use. I think I look betters, in, better, betters. I look better in reds and purples and oranges. And really, I mean, the coolest tone that I normally go for would be purple because it's like a, a mix of red and, and blue, but I just don't normally use blues, especially Br greens every time I use them. I don't use them often, but every time I use them, I really enjoy them. So I don't want to say that I'm not comfortable using them. I just don't do it often, but this blue is just really vibrant and gorgeous and it seems to be just blending well. I am, a, I'm a mad fan of this palette. This is two eye looks that I've done pretty quickly because I'm not gonna do a whole lot more with it, honestly. I really like how it's going right now. All right, I'm going in with Rich Rich, which is like a teal shade now. And I'm gonna do just like a little bit kind of in here, kind of blending it into the green. I am using the same brush that I used for the navy. And I'm just kind of patting it. I don't want it to be very aggressive and I don't want it to be super dark. I want some of the green to still appear. And I'm just kind of making it at like a nice little angle. All right, so that's what we're working with right now. I really am just so freaking blown away by every color that I've touched in this palette so far. This is an incredibly affordable palette. Let's keep that in mind. This is a $25 full price palette. You get 28 shades with that. So you're talking like a, a little over a dollar a shade. So the mirror is huge as well. So this is a quality palette at a very affordable price point. I, I will say I did not pay $25 for it. I think I paid like 18 or 15 for it because they were on sale. All, all, the whole Makeup Revolution brand was on sale. So that's an incredible steal in my opinion for everything that you can do with this palette. This is definitely one of those palettes that if you wanna have one decent palette to uh, include a little bit of color pops and all that good stuff in your, your repertoire of makeup, this would be one that I would say would be worth investing in because it is so incredibly easy to use. That's the best part of it is it's not even that it's affordable. It's You can buy an affordable palette that does not work for you at all. This is an affordable palette that I think anybody really can use, especially if you're trying to get comfortable with colors. So uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm not trying to like be like, oh yeah, I, I love this because obviously I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's just like, I'm just incredibly excited about how well everything's turning out. And it's two days in a row where I'm like, dang, this thing is so easy to work with. All right, I'm going in with no exit now. That is that green shade that I showed you guys. The texture of it is very weird. It's almost jelly-like. It's like bouncing. It's weird. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. So it's a little less green than I would hope for it to be if I'm being just a, a thousand percent honest, but it's still really pretty. It's like a golden green, if you will. I think there's a really pretty yellow glitter shade too. I think I'm gonna go over top of that, of this green one with it and see how that looks. Cause that may help it brighten it up a little bit. Cause I was hoping for it to be just a little bit brighter. So far, this is my least favorite shade that I've used. I will say that of, from both days. This is the one I was not happy. And so, so far I'm gonna say the glitter shades are the ones that have uh, the worst. It's really like gross. It's like flubber. It looks like flubber. Like, do you see what it's doing with my brush? But I mean, it's it's doing its job. It's not it's not ideal. It's not what I would prefer for a glitter shade. And maybe that's supposed to be, maybe it's glittery and, or I mean, it's jiggly because it's supposed to be like a gel shade. I don't know. I've literally never seen that in a palette before, but it, I, you know, anything is possible. All right, so I am gonna go in with the yellow shade now. And the yellow, so, so maybe it is just, this is like their texture of their glitter. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the glitter shades in this palette. The yellow one on top of it is helping brighten it up a little bit. Yeah. The yellow one actually seems to be paying off very nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna go in this, I used this shade yesterday. It is the best um, inner corner and crease shade that they have or brow bone shade, crease shade, uh, brow bone shade that they have in the palette. And I really liked how well it paid off yesterday. So we're gonna do that again today. Just give us a little bit of shimmer. 
and draw attention to those areas. And then I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I'm actually gonna use Lancome. Um, I've gotten a couple of their holiday sets and the mascara they include with it is like a really weird kind of like navy color, but it's not quite navy. It's almost more like a denim navy. I don't know how to explain it. You almost kind of look at it and you go, is it blue or is it black? And then you're like, no, that's definitely blue. So I'm gonna use that today because I think that's gonna play off very well with what we've got going on with this, uh, this bad boy eye look. All right, so this is the final product. It is very vivid. It is very blue, very green. I absolutely love this palette. So this is what the front of it looks like. I don't think I showed you guys yet in this video. It is the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright Rich in Color Palette, 28 colors, full price it is $25. I would highly recommend it. Having done two eye looks with it now, I think the, the, I think the best part about this is for the price point, if you are somebody who even wants to experiment with colors, if you're not fully comfortable with them, if you are fully comfortable with them, if you just wanna have some, you know, you're like, hey, we're gonna do an 80s party, or hey, I like to do some crazy eye looks on occasion. This is a really good palette to have in your collection just for that. There's a lot of options with it. So I'm very, very impressed with this. I'm not surprised, surprise is the wrong word because I love Makeup Revolution. I discovered them very recently. We had the channel up and going when I started buying products from them. So it's been under a year that I've been using their products, but every single one of their products I've been very impressed with. And I've um, started using you know, their concealers and their foundations as well. So I really like them as a brand and especially in the affordable aspect of it. But this has just been a really pleasant surprise using this palette and discovering how beautiful each eye look so far has come out to be. I'm excited to do a couple more for you guys so you guys can see uh, really fully what we can do with these palettes. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos. If you do, it definitely helps if you give it a thumbs thumbs up for the channel. Um, that way other people in the YouTube community can find us and hopefully they'll like us as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you like our videos, please consider doing that. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We love having all of you amazing, supportive, beautiful people be in, um, in our corner with us and, and living life with us and, and you know communicating with us. So definitely consider doing that. Other than that, I hope everybody is staying really safe and very precautious and, and just living life as um, lovingly and respectfully as possible of each other in this crazy time because we're not gonna make it through alone. We gotta have each other's back. So uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay curly with a dark twist.